Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. The new deck is out for the next event which starts tomorrow and we are having a look at the moment at the ultimate form. So the ultimate form battle skill will create three dark power gem freeze plus an additional one for every 150 intensity. It will also increase noble killer attack by 100% for one turn plus an extra 1% for every 30 noble killer intensity. If this hero attack or damage is increased by a hero battle skill or passive skill, it will create an additional two power jam fours. Because this card is able to increase noble killer attack, you should be able to generate five power gems. You should be able to generate the three power gem freeze plus the two power gem fours because it will increase its own attack so this card initially can actually produce five power gems it's got a four it's got a three uh turn cooldown and a nine gem charge rate it's got a passive on it as well net 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 of spies if the enemy attacks while this hero's attack or damage is increased by a hero's battle or passive skill Resist 10% of damage dealt by dealt to you. So it decreases the amount of damage your deck will take. And I'm assuming that there's other cards on the deck that does the same thing. Primarily, I think it's it would be the Master Collection card. So we're going to take a look at the Master Collection card. And then Ultra Rare. And we're gonna see if this deck is worthy of actually getting. So this is a master collection card, Lord Executioner, and it will create three Dark Podium Freeze plus one more per 150 Noble Killer Intensity, and increase Noble Killer Attack by 100% for one turn plus one percent more per 30 Noble Killer Intensity. So along with your ultimate form. This card is able to increase your attack damage. If you've got two or three Master Collection card alongside your ultimate form, you will be able to increase your attack output quite significantly. However, they don't produce a lot of power gem initially, so it will need outside help. And um, I believe the outside help will actually come from the ultra rare because the ultra rare I believe produces more power gems than your master collection card and your ultimate form. But looking at these two cards, um, when it comes to power gem, they're not very good power gem spawners. But when it comes to increasing your attack, your increases in your attack, they are. Um, I think their battle skill is quite good at doing that. So as a utility cards, your your mass collection card and your ultimate form is not too. It, it, they are two good cards um, to have in your collection as utility cards. So Princess of Pain. Let's see what the princess does. So the princess will create four dark podium fours. Much better. If this hero attack damage or um, attack or damage is increased by a hero's battle skill or passive skill it will create two more which this card will create six power gem fours far better than the master collection card and far better than the, um, the ultimate form um, the ultimate form hasn't got this part of the skill from the um, from the ultra rare, which I believe it should have had really that it could produce a far more power gem than it actually produces. Um, I think it should have been able to produce three power gem threes, four power gem fours, and two extra power gem fours if its attack or damage is increased by, by another card's um, passive. I think that's what the ultimate form should have been. It should have had this part of the, but it should have, have the whole content of this battle skill that the ultra rare has got and it would be a far better ultimate form than it actually is not to take anything away from the ultimate form it's a good ultimate form but it would have been far better if it had had the whole package of this 
battle skill included in, in this battle skill, producing four power gem fours and an extra two. That would give you that would basically give you um, the ability to produce nine power gems with your ultimate form. The passive is net spy. We've seen that before. If the enemy attacks while this hero attack or damage is increased, it will reduce the amount of damage taken by your deck. So the ultra rare is the card that is going to give you a bit more power gems. However, your ultimate form and your master collection card is able to generate one extra power gem based on intensity, which if you, if time allows, you can build the intensity and create a few more power gems. To create that extra 10 power gems, it's going to take you 1,500 intensity per card. Now the three extra cards needed is this one, it's from the dragon deck. Um, this one is not really that brilliant, it's okay. But of the three, I think the one that you really and truly would want to get is um, Militant Marvin. The reason why I said Militant Marvin would be the best one to get because you can actually get Bioblades from the, um, the Proving Ground. And if you can, if you haven't got, um, if you haven't, if you haven't got uh, the ultimate form, it is an ultimate form that is worthwhile getting. So this is one of the cards that you really and truly would like to get from the collection or from the vault, then you can actually um, create the ultimate form. It's, it's one of the best ultimate form to have as a utility card so you can get by a bitch from the, the proven ground store and you can get this one so that's the best of the three i believe now let's take a look at the event card and the support card so the event card the artwork on the event card is not too bad and your event card is called um gan Cold hearted chancellor and he will create three dark power gem two and increase noble killer attack by a hundred percent for one turn when it comes to power gem it doesn't produce a lot of power gem but the fact that it increases your attack by a hundred percent is absolutely brilliant i think that's absolutely brilliant because if you've got two of these on a deck and you've got three cards that can actually produce power gems you can increase your um damage your, your your attack output quite significantly using an event card so for me it's not a bad event card but i think the ability to generate an extra power gem based on intensity would have been nice but it is what it is it's a nice um event card and i think it's one that you wouldn't be disappointed with if you actually get it so your support card will create eight dark gems and it will heal you for 200 percent of this year's attack uh the heal amount can be increased by attack buff so your support card is a healer and it, it's a gem spawner it creates eight gems which can fill out the board when you create all your power gems if you've got space remaining it can actually fill out those spaces which is not bad it's a healer and the heal can actually be increased when your damage your attack increases so it's not a bad support card um kind of like the support card and i kind of like the um, event card so the deck in and of itself i would say is okay not brilliant but okay is it one to chase after if you've got the um, if you've got the coins and you're looking for a noble that noble killer then this is one you can go for if you've already got the killer skill and you haven't got the gems you haven't got the season coin i would say um don't go spending on the deck save your money so let's see what we get from the vault for this week see if we um we can get lucky this week we're looking for gold first up if you can get two gold card and the first two tier mask collection and the ultra that wouldn't be bad so first up is a gold card let us see what we get we actually get the master collection card first up that is absolutely brilliant absolutely marvelous now let's see if we can get the ultra rare and that would be the soul and i think that's it for tier one 
So tier one wasn't a bad tier. Let's see if we can continue the way we started. Okay, tier two, I think we can only go up to tier three this week until probably tomorrow. But let's see what we get, gold, go for gold. Gold card, come on gold. Okay, so that's the guarantee support card and I don't think I'm gonna get a gold card because, okay, there we go. And that was, I think that was a support card really. So we got two support card, we got a six star support card and a three star support card. Uh, I was actually happy for a moment there, thought I got the, um, the event card, but I didn't. So we're gonna go up to tier three because we haven't got enough gems. Probably tomorrow when we collect our gems from the event, the event collection and our daily gems, we can go up to tier four. Let's see what we get here. Come on, go for gold, 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 gold. Okay, that's rubbish. That's garbage. That's garbage. And that's a guarantee relic. I uh, think that's it's all over. Master collection card is not too bad anyway. Yeah, let's see what we can get um, when we go up to tier four tomorrow. Okay, so that's a soul. And that's a nice gold card. Okay, so we got two relics, uh, two main relic we got. Mm, it is all right. Not complaining. We got a master collection card on the first turn and two main relics. So that's it. I haven't got any more gems. Let's collect our season coins. We've got three extra season coins to collect. So hopefully this week, the um, hopefully this week the event is gonna be quite good. So we just need two more, two more season coins to actually be able to craft the ultra rare so that's not bad if um, when i collect my coins tomorrow i could when i collect my gems tomorrow from the event i could actually um just go into the retro the, the, um, the retro part that's going to come out and just go up to tier two or tier one tier one is fine and i should be able to craft the ultra rare and I should be able to get the Shiny Master Collection card as well. No, I'm definitely gonna need the event card. So hopefully I can get the event card from the event as well and get my second Shiny Master Collection card uh, because um, I think the best combo would be two Ultra Rare, two Master Collection card, one Ultimate Form. I think that would be the best combination or if you can if you've got cards that can spawn quite a bit of um, dark power gems then you can just go for um, two master collection card and two other cards that gives you, that gives you um extra extra power gems but for me when i get the ultra rare what i will do because i'm only gonna got, get one master collection card if i don't get the the event card uh, one ultra rare and uh, ultimate farm. I will combine those with other cards from my deck that can produce a bit more, a bit more power gems. So let's um, see. Now let's just look at slayers, and these are some of the cards that I've got. This one is not too bad because what it does, it produces extra power gems based on the power gems on the board. So it will destroy all non-dark gems and create four dark power gem fours plus one additional dark power gem four for each five dark gem that's on the board. It will also cleanse debuff and it will also heal. So it's not a bad card to use. Fire Blitz, um, Freedom Fighters, this is the ultimate form that I was um, going on about earlier. That if you can get um, the Ultra Rare from the collection, you can get Bio Blitz from, from the um, Proving Ground store. 
and then you could create the freedom fighter freedom fighter and hard worn gorillas are the only two decks from the nuke the, that nuke um, genre that will actually give you a nuke damage after your main attack and the attack will actually be uh, multiplied by the amount of keys that you use so if you use three keys it will get the five time boost and it will do massive massive damage so this is a really good um, card to have as a utility card really really good let's see if we i don't think i've got any noble killers i don't think i've got a noble killer deck yeah i haven't got a slayer noble killer deck so these are the only three cards i've got within noble killer so i haven't got a noble killer deck so it's a deck um for me where it's already worthwhile for me to get to actually inc improve my collection because my collection is um lacking in many heroes i haven't got all the killer skills and it would be nice to actually complete this collection so that's the deck for this week um we'll speak a bit more about the deck tomorrow we look at deck that we can actually use to compete within the event and then we'll see what we will go from there i'm gonna have a look at the news link because i think that's a lore and this is a news link so let's have a look at the news link so get a bonus guarantee rare relic rare event relic when you spin tier five of this week this week's vault use it to work your way up to this week's event events ultimate event relic so that's an extra relic on tier five mercenary as well mercenary boss is back mercenary boss will return making their um triumphant return sometime in the upcoming weeks i don't think it's this week i think it's probably next week um it's normal mercenary bosses are normally in um they normally they normally spawn during commander events not really slay events so we'll probably see that next week or in a few weeks i'm not sure so that's your deck for this week that's a news link um we'll speak tomorrow more about the the deck and possible deck combination so as always is acting saying like subscribe stay safe stay healthy have a good day and peace